Hello to all my Joe Dolls. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in where we focus on finance, real estate, and other life topics. Be sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell as I'm posting valuable new content on a weekly basis. All right, so today I wanted to provide a quick update on the possibility of a second stimulus payment and discuss some of the current proposals that are in the United States Senate for consideration. So I was reading an article online and according to Bankrate, 31% of Americans said the first stimulus check would not boost their financial well-being for more than a month. If we really think about it, that's a serious issue and is frustrating on so many levels. I mean, you have large corporations and wealthy individuals with private jets getting millions of dollars. Meanwhile, the most vulnerable in our society can't get the assistance they need. Currently, there's more than 40 million people who have filed for unemployment since the crisis has begun. Poll after poll indicates that the majority of Americans favor additional stimulus assistance from the government. Now, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has said repeatedly that if we do not get money into the hands of those who most need it, we run the risk of doing some serious damage to our economy. Now, the United States House of Representatives has already passed the HEROES Act, which will provide another round of $1,200 stimulus checks and also allow adult dependents to receive stimulus checks this time around as they were excluded in the first package. The terms of the payments will remain the same as the first round, which includes up to $1,200 for individuals or $2,400 per married couple. However, a big difference is that children would get $1,200, which is up from $500 in the first round, and that would go up to a maximum of three children. So that means families would be eligible for up to as much as $6,000. The HEROES Act would also extend the federal unemployment benefit of $600 per week, which is now currently set to expire July 31st. Now on Monday, former presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris spoke out in support of creating a universal basic income to help Americans get through our current crisis. Harris, along with Senator Bernie Sanders and Ed Markey, proposed a bill that would give $2,000 per month to people making under $120,000, plus $2,000 per child for up to three children. The senators want to create a rebate program called the Monthly Economic Crisis Support Act. Now, they're proposing payments of $2,000 a month to Americans who make less than $120,000 a year. Children and dependents can also receive payments. They would also continue for three months after the public health emergency has ended. Now, the bill includes payments for those without tax returns or Social Security numbers. Kamala Harris in her interview this week stated the government should be here for the people in a moment of crisis. She also stated that a one-time $1,200 check sent out by the government is not enough. And Joe Dawes, I agree 100%. I feel in my heart that she really understands the suffering going on right now. She also stated, and I quote, Can you imagine someone saying you only need to pay rent once ever? The reality of life is that people have recurring expenses. I mean, guys, she hit the nail on the head. I really believe this woman gets it. Like, hello, government. One check is not going to cut it. We need more money and we need it now. Now, a new proposal from Senator Rob Porton from Ohio would give Americans $450 a week to return to work. So it's basically a weekly bonus. The money would be in addition to your salary that you're earning. The proposal is supposed to give people an incentive to go back to work as most people are making the same or more money on unemployment due to the $600 a week federal unemployment bonus. Now, the issue with this proposal is that it would not fully replace unemployment benefits, which millions of families in need are relying on to survive, and it does nothing to help those who cannot find a job. I believe in my heart that most people who are able to work want to work. So Joe Dawes, out of all the stimulus proposals, I think the $2,000 monthly payment proposal by Kamala Harris is the best. To me, it's just common sense. We need to get money to the people. The people will spend the money, which will stimulate our economy and in turn create and support jobs. Now, to be honest, guys, it could take weeks for Congress to hammer out a deal for additional help. Also, according to the latest job report, the economy added 2.5 million jobs last month and unemployment fell from 15% down to 13%. Now, those numbers are for the overall population. Unemployment among African Americans is still over 20%. However, I have a feeling some lawmakers may use this recent news to argue we don't need additional stimulus. So we will see what happens, Joe Dawes. So in the meantime, Joe Dawes, there are emergency moves you can make if you have lost income and are in a financial bind. That starts with filing for unemployment if you're eligible, as well as for other forms of aid such as SNAP food benefits. 
Now, if you are experiencing financial hardship, be sure to communicate your situation with your mortgage, auto, and credit card lenders. Most lenders are offering payment assistance arrangements for those who have been impacted by a current virus situation. If you enjoyed this information, please be sure to like the video and share it. So Joe at Alls, what are your thoughts about the new stimulus proposal? Please leave your feedback in the comments section. Thanks for watching and until next time.